Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series of data compression. I am Preeti Garg, assistant professor at Kite Group of Institution. Today we are going to discuss prefix code. So these are the contents which we are going to discuss today. First, what is prefix code? Then a formal technique to determine that a code is a prefix code or not. Then we will implement it on some examples and some practice questions have also given so that you can practice this technique and then references so the question is what is prefix code okay so here you can see that we have given a table in which we have some letters a1 a2 a3 these are the letters and these are the code words given to a particular letter so we will say a particular code word is a prefix of another code word if the first k bits of that code word is exactly equals to a code word a let for example i have a code word 0 and i am saying it a then i have a code word 10 and i am saying it b so if first k bits of this b are equals to the complete a then we will say a is prefix of b so here you can see b is not starting from 0 so a is not prefix of b let's check i have another digit 110 let's uh, this is a letter c then again you can check if this 110 is starting from 10 no it is not starting from 10 so it means b is not prefix of c hey, 0 now we will check for a is c is starting from 0 no so it means a is also not prefix of c now if i have a code word like 0 1 0 so now you can see here this code word is starting from 0 and 0 is for a so a is completely coming in b so it means a is prefix of b okay so a code in which no code word is prefixed to another here you can see no code word is prefix of another then we will say that code word is prefix code okay if no code word is prefix of another code word only then we will say that the particular code word is a prefix code so let's discuss the technique through which we will determine whether a code given to us is a prefix code or not for this we make a tree so as you know every tree has a root node so here we will start creating a tree with starting with a root node a single node then it will have maximum two branches okay we will have only two branches maximum the left child of this node will be for the code 0 and the right child of it will be for code 1. Okay. So this is first we will create a root node. Then a node can have maximum two branches. We are giving zero code to the left child and one code to the right child. Okay. Take digit 0 to the left child and 1 to the right child. Then we will design this tree for particular code word in such a manner that if all the letters at the external node then we will say it is a prefix code and if any letter is an internal node then we will say it is a not a prefix code so what is internal and external node let this is my tree and i am giving it some letter a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and i have a6 so here in this example what are the internal nodes and what are the external nodes yes a1 a2 a3 are the internal nodes because these have some child right but a4 a5 a6 these are known as the leaf nodes or you can call them as external nodes so if all the letters are at the external node then we will say that a particular code is a prefix code and if some letters are in internal node 
then we will say that a particular code is not a prefix code. Let's see with, an, of a, with the help of an example. Here, this, these are the letters and the code words given and we have to determine whether this code is a prefix code or not. So step one is, we will make a tree for it and step one is, first we will make a root node, okay, a blank root node. Then it will have maximum two branches, zero for the left child, one for the right child. See, zero code word is given to the letter A1. So for zero, I will write, I will make a node and give it letter A1. Okay. Then A2 has a code word 1. So 1 is for right child and I will write here A2. Then code word 10 is for A3. So 10, we start from the root node. 1 for the right child and 0, 0 is for left child, right? So for A2, we will have a left child A3 and it will be 1, 0, okay? Then comes A4 and uh, the code word is 1, 1. So 1 from the root node itself, 1 is for the right child and again 1 is for the right child. So this is the A4. So you can see 0 is for A1. Then code 1 is given for A2. Code word 1, 1, 0 is for A3. And 1, 1 is for A1. Check if all these letters A1 up to A4 are at the external node or node. See, A1 is the external node, yes. Is A2 an external node? Check. No, it is an internal node because it has some child or we can say it has two children here. So A2 is not the external node while A3 and A4 are the external nodes because these are the leaf nodes. These doesn't have any child. So you can see here A2 is an internal node. So it means this code word, this code is not a prefix code. Okay. Let's move to the another example. Again, we have given some code words for the letters and we have to decide whether the given code is prefix code or not. So we will make tree for it, root node blank, then left child with the 0 and right child with the 1. Check 0 code word is given for letter A1. So I will make one node here and we will give it a label A1. Then A2 has a code word 1 0. So check 1 is for right child. Then 0. So 0 is for left child. 1, 0. So A2 will come here. Okay. 1, 0. See? 1 and 0. Then 1, 1, 0. So again from the root node, right child 1. Then again right child 1. And again we have 0. 0. So 0 is for left child, right? A3. 1, 1, 0. Then comes code word 111 for A4. So 1 for the right child, 1 again for the right child and again 1 for the right child. So check if all the code words are correct or not. 0 is for A1, yes. Then 1, 0, you can see here this path 1, 0 is for A2, yes. Then path 1, 1, 0 is for A3, yes. Then path 1, 1, 1 is for A4, yes. Check if all these letters are at the external node or node. You can see A1 doesn't any, have any child. So A1 doesn't have any child, right? So A1 is the external node. A2, it is also a leaf node. So external node. A3 also doesn't have any child. So it is also an external node. A4, it is also an external node. So you can see here, all these letters are at the external node. So it means... This code is a prefix code. This code is a prefix code. No code word is a prefix of any other code word here. You can see simply 0. No code word is starting from 0. Same for 10. No code word is starting from 10. 110. Here no code word is starting from 110 except A3. And for 111, no code word is starting from 111. So this is the general method and this tree is Method is the formal method to check whether a code is prefix code or not. Then 
these are some of the practice questions which you can try to check if the code is a prefix code or not you can implement this pre method for all these four examples okay these are the references of this presentation thank you everyone